Hey, hello. You're about to learn how to play Sunflower by Rex Orange County on your ukulele. Um, yeah, okay. A few things to keep in mind. I'm self-taught. I don't really know how to articulate myself sometimes um, the best way po in the best way possible, but I'll do my best. And as always, look at the chords and the tab that I'm going to have like over here. That's going to be very helpful for you as we learn this song and we'll get right to it uh this one was a little bit difficult for me it wasn't even like playing it a lot of it was like singing it my range is very limited so you know it was a little difficult but i love rick's orange county i love this song and we will figure this out together so this is how i played it um before we begin make sure you uke is tuned in standard tuning this is a concert ukulele if you want to know the exact model i have all of the ukuleles um, and like stuff that i use in the description so check that out uh but yeah so concert ukulele g c e a sounds great i did play this with a capo however you like I always say, you don't need it. Uh, that's just, if you want to play it the, the exact same key that I played it, um, you should use a capo. Um, I know they have them on Amazon pretty cheap, so this one's not expensive at all. It's probably like $5 or something, probably less. Um, but yeah, so put the capo on the first fret, like so. Alright, let's get to it. So... I'm going to list out right now all the chords you need to know. We're going to go through all of them if you don't know them. However, if you do realize that you do know how to play these chords, you can skip to the timestamp I'm going to have at the bottom of the screen right now. Alright, so the first chord you need to know is A minor 9. Um, this is how we start off the song, actually. But it's not too difficult, so you're going to be taking... Um, look at the picture, so it helps you. But you're going to be taking... It's, you're going to start off on the second fret, 1-2. You're going to be playing this string right here at the bottom, that's an A, and that's the A, and then the string at the top, which is the G, and then on the third fret, so you have those two down, you're going to be putting a finger down on the second from the bottom string, that's an E, so it's making kind of like this triangle shape, and it should sound like this. Cool. Uh, the next note you need to know is G major 7. G major 7 is really easy. Uh, it's all here on the 2nd fret. It's these bottom 3 strings, so the C, E, and the A, like that. And you can go like this, tab it, or I like to play it with all 3 of my fingers. It sounds like this. One of my favorite chords of all time. And then you need to know G7. So G7 is also kind of a triangle shape, but it's like backwards a little bit. So starting off at this 2nd fret again, you're going to be putting a finger down on the bottom string, uh, the A, on the second to from the top string, that's a C, and then on the first fret with this finger right here, you're going to put a finger down on the um, second from the bottom string. So it's like this, it should sound like this. Next you need to know how to play uh, C major 7. And C major 7, you put your finger down on the 2nd fret, the bottom string, on the A, and it's just like this. Very easy. And E minor, this one's a pretty common one. However, if you don't know how to play it, so start off on the 2nd fret, the bottom string, you're going to put a finger down on the A string. Then on the 3rd fret, the next one down, you're going to put a finger down on the 2nd from the bottom string. And then on the 4th fret, you're going to put a finger down on the 2nd from the top string. So it's kind of like a diagonal. It should sound like this. Ah. Cool. Um, next, uh, we're almost done. E minor 7. Pretty easy. So 2nd fret, again. Um, the bottom string. So hit that one. And then 2nd uh, from the top string. So you're kind of like skipping one in there, and that's it. So it's like this. Cool. And then last chord is D, another really well-known one. So you're just going to be playing the on the second fret again, and you're going to put the fing fingers down on the G, C, and the A, the top three, and it should sound like this. 
So those are all the chords that you need to know. And once you have that down, uh, let's move on. Off, starting off with the intro, um, I kind of made this up, so I combined like this uh, like plucking pattern and then also these chords and the strumming. So you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to give you an example of what... I'm going to show you what the intro should sound like, and then we'll learn it. So... Whoa, I want to know where I can go when you're not around and I'm feeling down so won't you just stay for a moment so I can so now we're going to learn how to play that. So, so the strumming pattern, when you're not plucking, is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So for example, uh, when you're starting off and you play A minor 9 and you transition to G major 7, it should sound like this. Do you hear that? So it's... So let's move into the plucking pattern. So it's A minor 9, G major 7, and then you do, so you kind of do like a one down strum, and then you do the first tab, which is going to be like this. I'm going to get a little closer here. So I'll put it up here. I think that's correct, hopefully it's correct, but basically, it's really easy, right? So I start off on the second fret at the bottom, this is all going to be in the bottom, on this bottom string, and so you're going to go second fret, third fret, fifth fret, so skip one, that's it, so second fret, third fret, fifth, so, right? So, da, da, da. and then right after that, you start strumming again, and I, and then you're gonna start strumming G major seven. So then, up, down, up. Then you do the same plucking pattern. So, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, and this time you're gonna play G seven. Up, down, up. So let's see what we just learned. I'll stay really close, like I am now. Um, so A minor 9, G major 7, and then the and then G major 7, and then the same thing. Cool, I hope I'm still getting you guys, uh, I hope you guys are still understanding. And then, then you go into the second plucking pattern that you need to know, which is also not difficult. Um, so, so you just did. Whoa, I want to know where I can go. And then when you're not around, so, so starting off on the second fret, bottom string. When you're, then the top string, not, then lift that up and play nothing, but play the top string again. Uh, when you're not, uh, and then play, put your finger back down on that bottom string and strum, and that's C major seven. Around, up, down, up. So it should sound like, when you're not around. So again, let's do that together. When you're not around. And then you do it again. When I'm feeling. Except this time you play um, G major seven. Down, up, down, so it won't you. And then you play minor. Stay for a moment so I can G major seven. And that's the intro, which is basically the hardest part, I think, because it has the plucking. So um, let's do that second part we just learned again. So, uh, where I can go, and 
then the second plucking pattern when you're not a when you're not around and i'm feeling down so won't you just stay for a moment so i can say cool i hope you guys are following why don't we go over that intro together again um just in case so e minor nine Whoa, G major 7 First plucking pattern I want to G major 7 Where I can G7 Second plucking pattern When you're not around I'm feeling down E minor Won't you just stay For a moment So I can G major Cool, you guys are following. Um, next, we're gonna go to the verse. All right, so then when you move on, then when you move on to the verse, it gets a lot easier. So the strumming pattern is a little bit like confusing. You do, I did chuck in it, so it's like it's kind of like a. So here, put. Let's do it together, right? So put your fingers down on G major seven, and then it's like a down strum, and then a chuck up, up down chuck. So. It's like this. So it's down chuck up. So down, down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck down, down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck down, down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck up, up down chuck. Um, if you don't know how to chuck, there are plenty of videos out there um on YouTube showing you, but. Uh, don't be discouraged uh, if you practice I promise you'll get there I struggled a lot when I first started playing uke a few years back um, but yeah um, I hope this strumming pattern is making sense um, let me do it again slowly so it's down down chuck up up down chuck up up down chuck up up down chuck down down chuck up up down chuck up up down chuck up up down chuck Alright, so now that you guys know how to uh, do the strumming pattern, let's play through the verse together um, and just follow along with the chords and yeah, we'll just do that. So we'll start at the end of the intro, so, um, so won't you just stay for a moment so I can say G major 7, that I don't want to see you G major 7, no, 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 you don't have to E minor 7. D. And to be honest, I don't even know E minor 7 And then you can just strum it And maybe she's And then G major 7 Right Cause I don't wanna E minor 7 D At the end, you just strum G major seven plays. So how about we do that again together? And um, I'll actually sing it this time. So I'll do it a little bit slower. Um, so at the end of the intro, so won't you just stay for a moment so I can say that I don't wanna see you crying. No, no, no. You don't have to feel this emptiness And to be honest, I don't even know why Well, maybe she's right Cause I don't wanna feel like I'm not me And to be honest, I don't even know why I let myself get down in the first And then G major 7 and that leads us right into the chorus. All right, so the chorus is pretty simple because it uses the same chords, pretty much. Um, so let's just do it together. I'll do it slowly, and then I'll put up the chords up here in the corner. So from the verse, um, why did I let myself get down in the first place? G major 7. I'm trying to E minor 7. Keep my mind at D. Sunflower still goes out E minor 7 Waiting for a minute till the sun seen through my G major 7 Make it E minor 7 da -da 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 -da. Make it da -da 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 -da. E minor 7 Waiting for a minute till the sun seen through my G major 7 
So let's do that together. I'll actually sing it this time. Um, I hope I can can do that, but yeah, let's do it together. Um, so what did I let myself get down in the first G major seven place? I'm trying to keep my mind up. next verse which is the same so you know you need to get yourself to sleep and dream and dream of you and I and that's how you learn that's how you learn that's how you play and that's how you play Sunflower by Rex Orange County the way that I did it I know it's hella confusing but um yeah you guys can play it too I would love to see your covers like maybe you guys can comment them down below or just comment like oh I posted a cover um check it out um, or like Jen check out my cover or you can like DM me on Instagram if you want and I would love to check them out and Yeah, it makes me so happy that you guys actually can learn from my stuff. That's amazing to me Um, I don't know what I'm doing half the time But yeah, thanks guys uh, Much love to you and we're almost to 17,000. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye